I'm getting goosebumps because it means something transformative. Oof, I'm really excited. <laughs> Carlando ISD is asking us on May 7th to go vote for a bond that will happen over 10 years and that'll be $125 million pay off the bat. I said, you, if you think that I'm going to pay more taxes, you better get the hell off my lawn. But as it turns out, I actually have investigated it. I've looked into it and I, I am going to support this bond and I'm going to ask you to do the same. Let me tell you why. The taxes that they're asking us to pay are no more than the taxes that the Harlandale district was paying back in 1911. So if they could do it in 1911 when 50 cents was enough to get you a hot dog, a movie ticket, but a, maybe a small a small dog, small house, some, some cattle and all of that for 50 cents. Well, definitely now we can pay 50 cents on every 100 bucks, 100 bucks I'd say. This bond happens in three phases. What are the phases? Phase A, phase B, phase C. In phase A, there's the easy fixes, the stuff that I think everyone can agree on and the stuff that we have to do. There's long-term investments in various buildings and other kinds of things. And then there's the task force fund. So let me show you the easy stuff. At McCullum, they need an ROTC building. Right now they're makeshifting a bunch of different stuff so that they can get the ROTC things done. That's no way to treat our future veterans. Uh, the other thing that we're talking about is the campus tracks at, High, at Harlandale and McCullum. Both of them are atrocious the moment that there's rain. There's rain on there, it's like rain on a Latina's hair. <laughs> Makes everything terrible. All right, now in addition to that, we're talking about the high school campuses. They need lighting for their football or for their baseball and softball stadiums. For the first time ever, uh, we've offered baseball and softball for our middle schoolers. But what good is it <laughs> if you're... Um, tied to the time and especially if it's daylight savings time then you're losing an hour of sunlight these kids are not able to practice for an adequate amount of time so we got to get them some lighting at the baseball and softball fields at the various campuses they don't have uh astroturf there now what they have is real actual grass which means every year they're having to seed it weed it feed it and right now they don't need it. What they need is AstroTurf so that they don't have to be messing around with all this nonsense that right now they have to mess with. It's for the tennis courts, there would be six tennis courts built in a central location over by Memorial Stadium where we could host tennis competitions where our kids could get just a state-of-the-art world-class facility for them to do their tennis. Right now, our brain in Harlandale, our technology brain, is old. It's very old. If you think about your iPhone, if your iPhone was over five years old, it's uh, hit or miss whether you're going to be able to actually use that iPhone anymore. And when I say that, I mean, you're not going to be able to get the updates. If you can't update your phone, well, is it really? I mean, at some point it just becomes a brick, you know? So that's what's happening to Harlandale. All of those things together, somewhere in the neighborhood of $17 million. The things that are going to cost us the most are our future and long-term investments. Number one, a CTE building. Almost everyone I've talked to is in favor of this. See, back in the day, they thought that every kid had to be on a college track. And if we didn't put them on a college track, then we were setting them up for failure. That's not true. The trades are a really valuable thing. The trades are something that our kids can build generational wealth with. They are something that they can become a part of the middle class with. And so right now, the district is proposing that there is a CTE building over there by Memorial Stadium. Uh, that CTE building would cost us $20 million, but in exchange for that, we'd be able to send kids out of Harlandale High School, not just with the high school diploma or a high school diploma and associate's degree if they sh uh, should choose to go to STEM, but now they're gonna have another option. They'll be able to go through the CTE building, they'll be able to acquire their high school diploma and at the same time get a certification in one of these fields. Plumbing, HVAC, electrical, welding, dental hygienist, or cybersecurity. Amazing stuff. So that would be what it looked like right there. Boom, boom. The other thing that we got in Prop A is a gymnasium slash multi-purpose building. The gymnasium and multi-purpose building would be our new community hub for all things fine arts, all things sports. Right now, when we want to go to a UIL event, we basically pay UIL for the privilege of using somebody else's facilities because ours aren't up to snuff. I can only tell you for myself, going to theater events or debate events at different UIL schools uh, or facilities throughout the city, um, I remember thinking to myself, boy, this is so beautiful. I wish we had something like this where I live. Don't you want our kids to feel 
good. Don't you want them to have their heads held high and say, Harlandale provides for me. And in addition to that, we can have a community hub where we can go and watch the choir, the mariachi band, the, ba the regular band, watch our robotics teams compete at uh, a place where we can have indoor sporting events. Um, we can have our graduation ceremonies, our promotional ceremonies, all these kinds of things, our cheerleaders, our dance teams, they could all host recitals at the central community hub. If you get the idea, or if you get the vision as I'm getting it, would then have Memorial Stadium, these badass tennis courts, Frank the Heather softball and baseball fields. Then we'd have the CTE building and the community gymnasium and multi-purpose area. This would become the heart of Harlandale. I'm getting goosebumps because it means something transformative. We're gonna do something transformative for this community. Everything cultural that we're doing would be right there. It'd all be aggregated in one spot for us. Oof, I'm really excited. <laughs> Okay, our Proposition A, there's one more thing. Uh, there are $30 million in Proposition A that are not allocated for. So for the first time ever, the Harlandale ISD school district is proposing that that $30 million be allocated by a community task force. A community task force is an incredible idea. I've never heard it before. I don't think Harlandale's ever done it before, but what it comes down to is this, a task force of community members would show up, the district would give us a list of 50 priorities, and from those 50, we would decide what we want to spend that remaining 30 million on. However, the community is not married to this list of 50. These are only strong suggestions. If the community comes uh, to the table and says, no, instead we need this, that, or the third, well, then we'd go with this, that, or the third. We have a strong commitment from the Harlandale School Board to honor the request of the task force. They've never asked for community input in this real way, and I'm a, I'm a fan of it. In Proposition B, what they're gonna do is they're gonna take the money right now that we've spent from the general fund. This is the general fund. Harlandale has spent $22 million out of the general fund. How do we pay back the general fund? 100%, 100% of every dollar has to be paid back to the general fund by us, the people. So we're responsible for paying all of this back. However, the state has a special fund it's called the Frosted Flakes Fund. No, it's not, but let's just say it is, okay? In this fund, 59 cents on every dollar is what we have to pay back. The state will pay back 41 cents on every dollar. So we just put back 59 cents and we get to keep all of this. We get to do whatever we want with it. I'll eat it. <laughs> so that's the simplest way I can explain that. If we don't take advantage of this soon, the state's gonna take away that program because they don't wanna be matching the monies like that no more. Proposition C is $9.5 million to finish out phase two of Memorial Stadium's renovations. And that's $9 million there, 500K to fix the Memorial Stadium track. Whoever the hell did our tracks within this district really screwed the pooch because, well, they just did. All of them don't have adequate drainage. So when it rains, again, tracks become unusable. And we, uh, we really got to do something about that. What is the sense of having these tracks if we can't use them anytime it rains? It rains kind of often. In addition, they're going to use that money, the $9 million, to create new dressing rooms for the home and visitors team. They're going to renovate the press box. They're gonna make sure that we have an office facility on site. Again, when I first saw this, I was totally opposed to it. But the more I researched it, the more I realized that over 10 years, we can ensure that the district will have 125 million. And those dollars can, be planned for and they can be allocated appropriately. In addition to that, they're gonna max out the tax rate at 50 cents per every $100. And then for 10 years, they cannot ask us to raise their allowance again. I'm in favor of that. And I like the idea that they'll not only be able to plan, but that they're gonna do some things that would create lasting impacts for the students in Harlandale. Oftentimes I've seen that these bonds aren't intended for the students. They're intended for special interests, contractors, people like that. This is all student needs. Every single dollar is going to helping students achieve the most that they can possibly achieve. So I hope that you'll join me at the polls on May 7th. I'm going to attempt to bring you episodes from within the school district to show you why the things that we're going out for in this bond are so important. Uh, I hope that you guys will stay tuned to this, uh, to these, and I hope that you guys will share this with your friends and family who have more questions about the bond. If you have more questions, put them in the comments and I'd be happy to make a follow-up video answering all of those things. Woo, I don't know if y'all heard that. That was a car back firing, but scared the hell out of me. <laughs> For you folks at home, I got some eggs to eat. We will see you next time.